हेलो हाय एवरीवन आई एम संजय गुप्ता आई वेलकम यू ऑन स्किल और एजन यूट्यूब चैनल यू माइट बी थिंकिंग फ्रॉम क्वाइट लॉन्ग टाइम आई वाज री स्केड्यूलिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन एक्चुअली वाज ऑक्यूपाइड विद सम वर्क एंड वी वी वर डूइंग सम सर्विस नाउ सेशंस नाउ दोज आर ऑल्सो कम्प्लीटेड सो आई जस्ट थॉट टू कंटिन्यू दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज सो दिस इज सेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कस्टम मैटर डेटा टाइप ओके सो इन द इन द डे ट्वेंटी वन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कस्टम सेटिंग सो लेट्स कंपेयर बोथ इन टूडे सेशन बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शेयर दिस स्लाइड विद यू लाइक वी आर स्किल होराइजन एंड वी रन लॉट्स ऑफ जॉब रेडीनेस ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम सो यू कैन विजिट द वेबसाइट एंड यू कैन एक्सप्लोर द कोर्सेज विच आर अवेलेबल देयर सो यू कैन जॉइन दैम एंड यू कैन बिकम जॉब रेडी एंड इन सेल्स फोर्स एंड सर्विस नाउ इन बोथ द इको सिस्टम लॉट्स ऑफ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर अवेलेबल नाउ अड इज सो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड लाइक दीज आर द थ्री लर्निंग स्टेप्स दैट वी अप्लाई कॉन्सेपचुअल लर्निंग हैंड्स ऑन एक्सरसाइज एंड प्रोजेक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड दीज आर द क्यू आर कोड्स यू कैन स्कैन एंड यू कैन फॉलो अस Yep. So in this session, we will be talking about use of custom metadata type. Okay. So we have two uh, features which are available in Salesforce: custom setting and custom metadata type. And both are very important if we talk about the interviews. In interviews, in the development interviews, generally each and every interviewer will be asking you about these. Right. These are the prominent asked questions that you have to prepare. Okay. So. we already discussed about the custom setting and in today's session uh, i will give you a brief about the custom metadata type we will be discussing a use case related to that okay so let me just showcase you okay just a second first of all i am going to open the setup okay in setup you will see here we can just search for custom metadata types okay so from here you will be creating custom metadata type <clears throat> so if i compare like if you if you want to hard code any value in the code that you can do but we we generally don't do that instead what we can do we can we can uh, use the custom metadata type or custom setting so custom metadata types enable you to create your own setup objects with whose records are metadata rather than data these are typically used to define application configuration that needs need to be migrated from one environment to another or packaged and installed right so this is the purpose and if you create a new custom metadata you need to provide a label so let's say test one i am creating plural label will be test i am just removing one from here okay and i'm just clicking on save so this is how you can create custom metadata type and uh, after that you will see lots of things few standard fields are there few custom fields are available you can apply validation rule you can configure page layout so these are the features it it looks like uh, you are just configuring a object but it is not a custom object it is custom metadata type and see the api name here we have unique api name that is having test underscore underscore mdt right so this is available here and uh, i have one requirement that we can discuss let me give you a quick glimpse of a requirement that i have so if we open this so just a glimpse i'm giving you so you can do one thing like you can create a contact when a account is created and uh, that should happen when this is active as enabled so this is the challenge that you can implement okay i'm not going to show you the complete uh, step so uh, what you can do you can implement this so first of all you need to create a custom metadata type and uh, then custom metadata records we can query in the apex right those we can query so this will be a challenge for you you can implement that and uh, you can test it out like whether it is working with custom metadata or not right 
so you need to configure custom metadata for that here you can configure you can uh, create fields so first you need to create the custom field once custom field is created then you can go for the code and then in that code you can query custom metadata type right and uh, always remember when you will be querying the custom metadata type so you need to write this thing test underscore underscore mdt okay so i just gave you the challenge uh, uh, you you can just go and implement that and uh, i just want to give you a quick comparison between custom setting and custom metadata type so with the help of these points you will be able to understand so basically the major difference is custom setting data cannot be deployed so when you create custom setting or you create custom metadata type in both the cases you will be creating some records so custom setting data we cannot deploy but uh, whereas metadata type can be easily packaged and deployed metadata type can also be deployed via chain sets and metadata api custom metadata does not support hierarchy type based uh, data based on user profile or a specific user so here custom setting has an advantage in custom setting this is uh, this is an advantage that you can use and uh, custom setting do not support relationship field you can create lookup between uh, custom metadata objects and uh, custom setting data is not visible in test classes whereas metadata types are visible in test classes without the see all data annotation so these are some differences that you need to know if you are going for an interview and uh, you should be knowing custom setting and custom metadata type and i gave you the task just try to implement that and uh, uh you you can you can just uh, understand with that in previous session like if you if you miss the day 21 you can just go through that and uh, in that session i discussed about custom setting okay so this is all what i planned for today's session okay custom metadata so this is a brief feature that uh, you can implement now going forward in upcoming session i am planning to Uh, focus on asynchronous apex so i will pick one scenario of asynchronous apex and will give you as a challenge so that you can implement and uh, practice that okay so uh, the purpose of this particular series is to give you some task in every session so if you are following all these sessions so in every session you will be getting a task that you can implement and uh, once we complete all the 100 session and if someone watch uh, someone watches all the session step by step and do some implementation so you will be able to uh, like brush up your your development knowledge okay so because we started from the flows we we started with flows we did a uh, trigger implementation test classes uh, lots of feature i covered okay so um, asynchronous apex i will be covering and one more feature is their wrapper class so i am planning to do that as well okay so we'll be focusing on apex uh, for a few more scenarios so asynchronous apex then i will be picking uh, integration and uh, lwc related uh, task so we'll will be giving you so that you can practice okay so this is all about uh, today's session and uh, these are the qr codes that you can scan and you can follow for more information okay thank you guys bye everyone